The eight-year-old child was on a play structure here at Walls Park. Now, it's just right across from the school here. You can see that they butt each against each other. Now, her mom tells me all of a sudden a dog came running up without a leash. I feel very upset. Whitney Love is furious with the owner of a golden lab puppy that bit her eight-year-old daughter in the leg during recess at Chapman Elementary School yesterday. The dog ran over and it started to attack five of the children. It ripped a hole in one of the kids' jeans and then it got a hold of my daughter. The school district says the other kids weren't injured, but Adia had to go to the hospital and is now on crutches for a week as a cut in the back of her knee heals and she takes antibiotics. But more than the bite, Adia's mom is furious about the dog owner's behavior. At the moment that it got a hold of my daughter, she came apparently running over and took the dog away. As the teacher scolded her and said, you need to put your, your dog on a leash, she said, oh, I'm so sorry, I have children. And then as the teacher attended to the five other children that were being injured, um, she took off. The school butts up to Wallace Park, where there's even an enclosed off-leash dog park. But we found dogs off-leash outside the area. That's against city law, which is posted on signs around the park's edge. Owners face fines of up to $150. It's also against the law to have a dog off leash on school property. The problem is, is that when we go up to dog owners, they think that the parks and the playgrounds are for their use, and it's really not. We're trying to keep it safe. We have a lot of kids that go out for recess. Now, I just spoke with the girl's mom by phone, and she tells me that the dog owner apparently did call the school today, and the school has given the mom that information. She says she will be in touch with her. Live in Northwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. So certainly a story will continue to follow, Lisa. Thank you for that.